Hey guys, it's Mike and Holly. We've got a new game today. Another one of the Hasbro game mashups. This one's going to be Guess Who and Clue. We do need to thank Hasbro for sending this free game to us. Thank you. So it's a mashup between Guess Who, which I always loved as a kid. And I never had it, but I would always play it with friends. You had it as a doll. We've actually played that one with, yeah. on, on the videos. I know, Guess who. like years ago we played And we played Guess Clue who. too. <laughs> yeah, and we have played Clue. And I also didn't have Clue as a kid. I never played I Clue until I was much older. Hmm. So, kind of two games that I didn't have that I enjoyed. Well, now we get to one. play them into one. <laughs> okay, so. We are all set up. We're set up. We, we went ahead and played around and we're a little iffy on the directions. It doesn't quite play like the regular Guess Who. No, it doesn't. Not quite well, at all. Well, <laughs> because it's a, it's a mix up. So, it's a. Okay, so we each draw a character card. So, we have our character. So like in Guess Who, you have your character and you're trying to guess who the other person has. Now with this, we have to be more specific about our questions because... Yeah, here, because, okay, so like she said, in, in the regular game, you would have all people, but we've got, like in Clue, your people, your weapons, and your rooms right. set up. Right, So now that I have my character, I can flip down that card, that flipper, flip, flippity flip, because <laughs> I know it's not her. And then we're gonna start off, well now we have to take, oh wait, we have to take a character, a weapon, and a room, and put them off to the side. Because that's who did it with what weapon and in what room. And so that's what we have like to try to guess. Like in Clue. And then now, if I can pick up these you need, cards, you need these two, right? I have to shuffle these all together and they're gonna go into them without looking at them. And they're gonna go into the middle of the table because we're gonna use these as like our clues. These are some evidence cards and, did you see that? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. I'm trying not to look and with, I'm trying not to With glasses, I can see up close, but with my glasses on, I can't, <laughs> stuff, stuff farther away is blurry. So we have our suspect murder weapon in room off to the side. Now we are shuffling these to go in the middle. So the most suspicious person goes first, that'll be Michael. Most suspicious looking. So that'll now, be Now, hopefully we play this right because we did mess up considerably with our practice <laughs> round. And I'm not, I'm still not sure I've quite, quite got the game. You can do this. Um, Specific question about my character. Go. But I'm still confused. Okay, so normally in the game of mm -hmm. uh, Guess Who, you'd say, maybe start off with, is it a male? Is it a female? Right, but you can't do that because... You can't do that in this game. This could be a male or a female. And if Michael has a male and he said, well, no, it's not a male. And I flipped down all the males, I could have eliminated the person that's in the, that did it. Because in the normal we game... we don't know. <laughs> in the normal game, we're playing off these cards. When right. you play Guess Who, we're playing... We've got a we mystery no pile here that we <laughs> neither one, of, neither us one knows, of us knows. So... Okay, is it Miss White? Is my person Miss White? Yes. No. I mean, that's, I'm guessing that you have to specifically, you can't say, is it a male? Is it a female? Does it have dark hair? Do they but have blonde hair? But then how do we, hair? how do we know that this isn't Miss White? My person's not Miss White. That's what I don't get. This could be Miss <laughs> White. Okay, well, I guess let's play the game. We're, we probably are messing this up, so. <laughs> But that's what we're told to do. Okay, is your person Dr. Orchid? No. Although that could be Dr. Orchid. Hmm. <laughs> is, is your person Colonel Mustard? No. But see, then I'd flip down Colonel Mustard too. This doesn't make sense. I know. We have no idea. Because I was going to flip down... Orchid. Uh, well, I guess when you flip down all your people, I don't know how that works. It could be any of those people we just flipped down, but we don't know. It's flawed. Okay. Well, I guess we'll get, you'll get the weapons and the room right because there's no card pulled out for the room and the weapons. Mm -hmm. So whenever you uh, get down to the one left, it is going to be that one for sure. Yeah. I guess keep playing. We'll just see what happens. Is your person Monsieur Brunette? Yes. <laughs> but see, really, how does that help you any? 
You know my personnel. We'll be. Okay, yeah. But and guess who? But you I, would have won. <laughs> yeah, but I know that that's not who's in there. I know my person's not in there, and I know your person's not in there. But we've already flipped down okay, those other well, ones. Okay, well, maybe I we're not done. supposed to flip those down then. Maybe not. We just have to figure out okay, each other. Okay, so you know. I know who I am, and I know who you are. But the other ones all remain a mystery, and the, I can't ask you questions about them, but I could draw their card. Yeah, I guess from we'll the do that. Pile. Okay, so. There's a flaw in the direction. Is, is your person <laughs> Professor Flom? No. But you have to leave him up. Right. Because this could be. Okay. Um, I already know your person. Okay. Is the weapon poison? I don't you know. You have no idea. So he says, I don't know, and I draw an evidence card. Reveal your character card to your opponent. Well, so that now, helps me a ton. That helps you. Not really. So I know it's th not those two. And we create a discard pile. Okay. Is the, the weapon sharp? I have no idea. Look at the evidence card in the discard pile. Look at the last evidence. Is there a last evidence? Which would have been reveal your card to your opponent. You can skip That's... special action cards. So then what oh. was that one? So no, that was your person. Oh, that's my person. You gotta keep your person there. So I don't, I don't get you to don't play because anything. there is nothing. I totally took my person out. Okay. Um, was it in the kitchen? I don't know. Okay. Uh, Is it the axe? You don't know. I don't know. Um, oh. Was it in the ballroom? I don't know. Huh? Um, Did okay. it say ballroom? I, yes. So this said ballroom? Yeah. So you say, no, it's not the ballroom. No. <laughs> it's so confusing. <laughs> So I was able to guess his card that he just pulled. Uh, billiard room? How would you, uh, did you cheat? No, I did not. Then how would you know I picked those two cards? I don't know. I guessed. I oh, come cheat. on. There's all these to guess and you knew exactly two in a row. Uh, was it a wrench? You don't know. I don't know. Was it the knife? Okay, how are you doing this? Do you have your board set up exactly like mine? I, I randomly threw mine in, so it couldn't be. Okay. There but that's it. three in a row now that you know <laughs> what card I picked. I don't know. Yeah, I picked a knife. You did? Yes. Okay. It's a revolver. Um, kitchen? I don't know. Was it the rope? I don't know. Was it the poison? I don't know. Peek at the top two cards in the evidence deck. Oh, you got these all in a mess. What'd you do? Yep. I was just throwing them. Oh. Knife. I already knew that nope. one. The no. Nope. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah. I guess yeah. that it makes a difference then. You got to put the pile. Don't on. make a mess out of the pile. <laughs> I thought you were cheating, so I was just throwing stuff over there. That's not fair. Reveal a new piece of evidence to your opponent. So oh. what do I do? What's something you just put down that I didn't know about? Axe, poison, revolver, wrench, candlestick. Rope. Do I have to give? Can I give you any one though? I don't have yeah, to. Yeah, give... no, you can give me a room if you want. No, but a do piece. I have to? Can I say rope? Even though you've got rope picked down. No, one that I haven't. S Hold on. Reveal a new piece of evidence. But how do I know what you have? I don't know what you have. I just told you. Axe? Do you have axe up? Yes. Poison? It's up. Revolver? Up. Wrench? Up. Candlestick? Down. Thank you. <laughs> Your turn. Was it? No, I just went. Because I had to reveal. I drew the card that said I had to reveal something to you. Oh, okay. So it's your, um, it's your turn. Was it in the lounge? I don't know. Reveal a new piece of evidence to your opponent. What have I even revealed? What have I even done? Okay. Okay. Go go up. Is it lounge? I don't know. Study? I don't know. Dining room? No. So I flip so, that down? Yeah. <laughs> Reveal a new piece of evidence to your opponent. We're too old for this. So like we forgot what we've already played. Okay. Uh, library? 
Up. Hall. Up. Kitchen. Up. Study. Up. Lounge. Up. Wrench. Up. Revolver. Up. Poison. Up. Axe. Up. You have nothing new for me. Okay, then I don't have nothing new. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to do anything new. Should I draw another card? Yeah, it's your turn. No. I just went. Oh my gosh! I had for to show. Sake. I had to show. No, you're supposed to ask me a question, but I guess it, no. I don't have. A, I ask. have no questions yeah, for no you. <laughs> okay. Uh, was it in the lounge? I don't know. Look at the last evidence card in the <sighs> discard pile. <laughs> that would be the one I just did, which was poison. You have no evidence. Nothing new for me. So, skip your turn. I'm guessing you don't have anything for me either. Was it in the lounge? I don't know. Reveal a new piece of evidence from your flip down detective notebook. I don't think I flipped down anything new that you don't already know. Nope. And I have no questions for you. Uh, was it in the study? I don't know. Oh, you drew a person. Was it Miss Peacock? I don't know. Darn. No, wait. No. Then I draw. No, because no, you did a question, right? Yeah. Okay. And you said, I don't know, so I draw. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Gotta stay on top Was of it. it. Mr. Green. I don't know. Draw two more cards. Two more? For Pete's sake. That's a lot of evidence. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Point to any piece of flipped down evidence on your detect your opponent's detective notebook. They must reveal the evidence to you. I think you have you have more info than I do, don't you? Oh yeah, I just did that one, Miss White. It was not Miss White. Look at one of the cards from the solution pile. Oh ho ho! Oh, so Michael knows what room it is. I do now. Okay. Your turn. Um, was it in the lounge? No. Um, I don't think, I mean, it was the wrench. I don't know. Draw two more cards. Jeepers! Point to any piece of flip down evidence on your opponent's. I don't know if, I, if that would do you any good. Lead pipe. <laughs> Peek at the top two cards in the evidence deck. But you would have been the one to draw those. Oh, that's the evidence deck? No. What's the that's evidence the deck? The... Right? I get to look at the top two. What? But what good does and it do? Do I put them back or do I? I don't know. What is the... Evidence cards feature character. Okay, yeah. What is that? What they're calling them? The evidence deck. Remove the eight card from the evidence deck. Separate them into their own piles. Yeah, that's the so evidence card. So do I look? Deck. I look at the two. Do I put them back on top mm. to the evidence? I don't know. Why wouldn't it just tell you to draw two? You're putting them back, but I, I mean, guess I, I guess you put them back. So then, when I go to use them for my turn, they they don't really do you any good. Hmm. I don't know. That's interesting. Yep. Oh, you know the weapon now, don't you? Yeah, I'm oh, still kind of okay. far from the person, um, though. Is it the axe? No. Uh, is it Mr. Green? I don't know. Neither of us are going to know the people who did Eventually, it. Eventually, they're in oh, here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's true. Uh, was it the wrench? Yes, I guess. Yes, the weapon's the wrench? Yeah, that's what's sticking up. Right, okay. that's what I'm supposed to say. Yeah. Was it Mr. G Professor Plum? I don't know. You don't know. Okay, these cards didn't get mixed up because the people are all at the bottom. I shuffled! Okay, uh, was it in the study? No. Was Miss Peacock? I don't know. 
Reveal your character card to your opponent. I already know. Don't need to know that. Was it in the hall? Yes. Okay, so now we're at the Was same. it Colonel Mustard? Uh, don't I don't know. know. Oh. We're down to people now. Okay. I think, for the most part. Was it Miss Peacock? No. No. You don't have Miss Peacock up? No. Okay. <laughs> Mustard, you don't know. Don't know. Uh, was it Mr. Green? No. Was it Plum? You don't know. Was it Colonel Mustard? Yes. So now what happens? Do you get to solve it or do you gotta wait? Oh, you still don't know. Was it Miss Colonel Mustard with the wrench in the hall? Yep. It's gotta be. Colonel Mustard, wrench, hall. Because I asked you, how did you know it was, oh, because you. That, I got it. Oh, no, wait. When I flipped it down, was I allowed to do it? I thought I had to do it on my next turn. You had to do it on your next turn. That's why I was wondering. Turn. You asked a question, are you allowed to solve it on that turn? Because that's the same thing that I just did. It says on your turn, you can get, okay. When you think you've solved the mystery, you can make your accusation on your next turn. Instead of asking a yes or no question, you can say, I accuse so-and-so with weapon so in what room. I, I win then. Because you asked if it was Colonel Monster, and I said yes, but you can't say it But then that would be turn. my turn. So that was my Monster turn, so you won. I technically won. <laughs> Golly gee willikers. Oh, okay, maybe you play this about are five we, times. Are we, just make sense? Like, are we just like old and just... <laughs> no. No. With this game, we, we want to play guess who. It's guess who. It's in, it's, and when you try to throw yeah. in the clue part, it makes it very confusing. Well, and... Because I, I don't know that we actually did play this correctly. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me how you can guess the characters because you don't know what characters in that pile. And right. You have, I think you have to be specific and only know your character and your opponent's. Because there's no other way to know which one's in that pile. I, until you I go through I haven't thought those. it out, but I think the better way to do it would be for each one of us to have one of each. And then you're trying to solve for what I have. And I'm trying to solve for the three cards you have. Oh, that, that would, would make, make more, more sense. sense. I could be totally not thinking of something that would complicate the game, but... No, nope, you want to would. You would want to solve what I have. Yeah, Because that then you totally could, you could ask, okay, is it a sharp weapon? Mm -hmm. Well, I know. I know if it's a sharp weapon or not. So then that way you can eliminate your sharp weapons. Right. Huh. Yeah. You need to play, instead of having a separate pile. We each have our own pile. We each have our we own pile. And then own... there's still the middle pile to go but through. But then there's two suspects, there's two murder weapons, and there's two rooms. So we're figuring out each other's. Yeah, right. Where the game of Clue, there's only one. Yeah. Which is why they did it the way they did it, but... Uh, your way makes better sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there's a look at guess the mashup. Guess who? Clue. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. Bye. Bye.